Hello and welcome to the next part of the Victoria 2 Let's Learn. Today we're going to be talking about the first part of diplomacy, but more importantly we're just going to do a video on Sphere of Influencers, which this may end up being just quite a short video, but I think it deserves a little section of its own because it's quite a complicated thing to first get your head around. But first, if we go to the Great Power List, which you can get to by clicking here, also part of diplomacy, it will show you who the great powers have the sphere of influence over. You can see right now, we have sphere of influence over Catalonia, the Papal States, the Confederation of Guana, and the Kingdom of Senegal. The Ottomans have it over Moldova, Serbia, and Wallachia. The USA have it over, over Liberia. And, you know, it just continues on. And what a sphere of influence is, is that we are influencing another country that is not a great power, enough so that they basically become a servant of ours so say we start a war on spain say we have a sphere of influence over belgium sorry and we start a war on spain they won't join us because it's you know we started it but if spain attack us we can call belgium in to protect us and they will have to say yes sphere of influence also creates good trade opportunities good foreign investment opportunities to increase them so they become more powerful and they can help you more but that is you need a lot of influences to protect yourself from other attacking countries because if say the united kingdom attacks you it can call in its fear of influences maybe not all of them will say yes but a lot of them will because they like the uk so you'll see places like greece jump in there and whoever it's ally where we can see here if we go to allied with it's allied with belgium and everyone Basically, it's all the Indian countries, but Greece, Belgium, uh, Hanover, Austria. So you have to look out for that. And to do that, you need alliances and sphere of influences. Now, how do you get a sphere of influence, you ask? Well, the first thing I'm going to say before this is you can essentially sphere influence everyone. You could sphere influence Russia if it's not a great power. Or China, but it's actually impossible to sphere of influence China, but I'll go into that later. But, you know, as France, we could sphere of influence Ethiopia. But, for the best results, you need to sphere of influence someone close to you that is primarily your accepted, maybe your accepted culture, or you have good relations with them. I'll go into it now. Basically, you have sphere points. And you can see here, this is the sphere of influence tab. And this is also to do with sphere of influence. But let's go to opinion. And you can see it goes in sphere to friendly, to cordial, to neutral, to opposed to hated. And by default, you are neutral with everyone. Then you put sphere of influence points into them. So say, we can see here this is France. We have 26 points of influence with the two Sicilies. Now, we spend these points here to here. So you can see we can use something called discredit. Discredit another great power, making it harder for them to influence this country. And that's going to cost us 25 influence. We click this, and we pick another country, say Russia, and they will gain influence points, I think it's 75% slower for a while. And what this essentially makes is a big battle that isn't a battle. So it's going to be lots of countries trying to go for the best sort of non-great power countries so you can see two sicilies is a secondary power that's quite useful so you can see right now current influence priority so how much we're putting into them relate to everyone else low medium and high so you can see we gain 0 0.659 influence per day our base influence gain is 0 0.3 now it is neighboring our sphere member the paypal states that gives us an extra 20 percent our relations are pretty good, so 12.5% increase there. The maximum you can get is 20% if you have 200 relations. And total score of a nation relative to our total score. So basically, if we're a lot better than them, they're going to come to our side more easily because they know we'll protect them as well. Just a quick cut here. I forgot to mention that when I said that they know we'll protect us, one of the things that you can do with a uh, sphere of influence is is if a country under your sphere of influence gets caught in a war, say um, Africa declares, well, Ethiopia declares war on two Sicilies, we can join the side of two Sicilies and fight back against Ethiopia. And that's one of the other things you can do 
when you have a sphere of influence over a country. And you can see here it's all related by the stuff. But if you go to somewhere like China, uh, Chinese Empire, you can see right now if you try to influence them, we get nothing. Because they're on another continent, minus 50%. We don't have great relations with them, minus 10, minus 1%. And their population is so large that we can basically to sphere someone, all their population has to agree with it, or the majority. And because their population is so large, it's not impossible. But someone like Tibet, we can sphere Tibet, because there's not that many people, but it's also very difficult. So you need to primarily stick to people that are close to you, neighbouring your sphering, neighbouring other sphering countries that you have, and just check the score here. And it's not as simple as just waiting because other countries also want that country. So you can see two cities here. Britain's having a go at it. Russia wants it. Uh, the Ottoman Empire wants it. And Spain wants it. And what they'll do is they will discredit, expel advisors, ban embassy, you know, and just try and do this so they can sphere it first. And what happens is when you get to 100% of influence, you increase your opinion. So you go from cordial or neutral as you would start to cordial and cordial to friendly and friendly to in sphere and a very important thing to know is that when you use this credit or any of these you can only do it to people that are on the same opinion level as you or lower so uh, let's say that Britain is friendly with two Sicilies and we discredit him we can't do it he's not friendly so we can do it but in theory if he was friendly if the UK was friendly with Sicily we could not do any of these to him because he's above us. And then his main priority is going to be both get to 100 and also stop anyone else from leveling up, essentially. So it becomes this sort of mouse and cat, cat and mouse game, attack and defend, of try and get to 100 before anyone else. And if you get above them, stop them from getting to 100 as well. So it can be quite difficult and take a lot of time up. But it's well worth it if you say have a secondary power on your side because they have good industry normally they have good military they are you know in the top 16 countries and having someone by that on your side indefinitely is going to help you a lot so let's just uh, watch this go up uh, I'm in the middle of a election but you can see right now Francis is rising rapidly you see, because we're so close and we have a spearing, all that is working with us. We can also increase relations, which uses diplomatic points, and that's going to make it go even faster. I'm just not even reading this right now because I want to do this. But you can see it's just rising, 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 rising. Rising, rising, rising. And, oh, I believe you only need 90 to increase the sphere then. Uh, oh. Oh, I think it goes up. So you need 50, then 75, then 90. I remember. Now you can increase opinion. Now we're friendly. And we still regain all the points from before. The UK wants to come into our place. That's fine. But you can see right now. It's going up. And in a second, you can see now it's in our sphere of influence. We had a event there that I didn't read. And see, now they want to alliance with us. They like us a lot. Because we've speared them. They agree with us. It's basically, an, essentially, it's a non-violent way to puppet a country. So if you go to two cities now, in sphere of France. That also means that if Austria tries to have an alliance with them, they're going to say no. Because whoop, they don't want to upset us. So it's just, it's a very difficult game to understand. But when you do it, you can make the best of it. And create your own little defense force that will come to your help. So you see, now if Austria attacks us, they have a tax coming from France, a tax coming from Sicily. And you can see Sicily has an okay army. It's not great, but it's okay. And that covers it for how to sphere of influence a country. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you want to go back to the playlist and select another video, just click on the screen right now. There'll be an annotation. If not, stay there and we'll go on to the next episode, which will be more about diplomacy. I think we'll probably go into basically all this in general and how diplomacy works. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the series.